beautiful song. Both of the songs have been beautiful. Yeah, so much, great, so much feeling in your songs. I mean, you come from your soul, obviously. So much feeling. But before we get into your, the marriage, tell us about this project you just did at the Dream Center in L.A. Oh, man. I am, can I, I'm I so project, excited. Right? I'm, it's my sophomore project. Um, we did it at the Dream Center in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, and it was just so amazing. God put it in my heart to, mm -hmm. to minister to the Josephs and uh, the people with the overlooked potential, mm -hmm. the ones that are the castaway right. of society. And, um, and that's what the Dream Center really focuses on. Absolutely. They go and get the people, yeah, I mean, awesome downtrodden. Place. Oh, my God. Amazing place. I went yeah. on a uh, tour, and it was just amazing, the, um, the women that they rescued from the uh, sex trafficking. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they have their own floor, and they're protected, and they're, they're loved back to life. And, um, I mean, people from all kinds of walks of life. And so what we did was we, uh, we bust in... Uh, like 800 people from all around mm -hmm. Los Angeles, from Watts and Compton, really? and, wow, and, people, and they went out huh? and we rented yeah. buses and brought them in. And from and shelters oh and buses really? of people came through. And so this whole CD wow. is about destiny. It's called oh, destiny, destiny, Live at the Dream Center, and just speaking hope back into the lives of people wow. who have given up on their dreams and, you know, feel like it's never going to happen, but if God makes a promise, He always mm -hmm. makes it good. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Great. Wow. Great. Awesome. change your life, though. It's an amazing place. Yeah, we were there about two years ago, I believe it was. Yeah, about two years there, ago. Yeah, it just they took us on the life. tour. We went over amazing. to the yeah. studio, into the what's the building where they had the different programs that they have at the church. They yeah, told us so that they feed 40,000 exactly. people a week. They feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Amazing. Amen. That's kingdom building That's right kingdom. there. That's kingdom. <laughs> That's kingdom. <laughs> Let's give the dream center hand. Yeah. Yeah. Really okay, he's talking about marriage oh, now. Yeah. Yes. You guys have a great story, and we'll get into it later, but you've been married now for how long? Only about, what, what 13, 13 months? 13 months. 13 months. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping her happy. I'm trying to keep her happy. You're trying to what? I'm trying to keep her happy. I'm yes, trying. yes, yes. Uh, look at that smile yeah. on her face. Doing I think you're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Now, tell us your story, though. You've been knowing each other for a long time. Yes. Our, our parents knew each other before we were born. His mom was in my mom's wedding. Oh, really? So that's, how that's how far, far back, back our family was. Wow. Yeah, really? Yeah. But okay. we would have never, okay, and ever you, and, <laughs> and you managed him. You managed him, him right? Yes. For years. Before, for 12 years? 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. And we weren't even looking at each other like that, honest to goodness. Uh, it was come just, on, come on. Really? 12 Seriously. years. 12 years. Seriously. We were, we were you actually trying to help. Music, huh? you were we, were, we were trying to help each other out. He had you know, another girl get, on his screensaver yeah, on his laptop. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to help her. I'm, I'm, right. I'm trying to hook her up. And, yeah. and really checking, so. checking out the guys, making sure, you know, yeah. yeah. All right, so she managed you 12 years, and then yeah. what happened? What happened? Uh, you know, um, we had a... Uh, <laughs> oh, I see what he's going to say. What yeah. kind of spark? You know, what's what's I'm going to ask you first. No, I want to hear his know, version. We all want to hear his story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, you go first. Okay, let's, let's, be, let's be real. Uh, one, <laughs> one evening... Okay. Oh, in front Jesus. of the house. Here we go, here we go. We were, we were having a, uh, a, a heated time of fellowship. We were, uh, we were, you know, we had a disagreement, and we were, you know, we were, you know, arguing, and I can't, I can't let stuff sit. Like, we may, we may argue, it doesn't matter who I'm in relationship with. Mm -hmm. you, I, I can, we can't leave that way. It's yeah. just yeah. like, right. yeah. so, um, <laughs> I say, you know, well, let, well, let's just pray, you know? And in the midst of praying, um, something happened. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not the argument, in the, in the midst of praying. In the midst of praying. Okay. Like, I was like, I, was, I said, well, let's just pray. Let's just pray, you know, because it was just funky in the atmosphere. <laughs> I said, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't love in the right. atmosphere. I said, let's yeah. just pray. And as we were praying, I don't know what happened. It's just like something just came in the car. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, what did he say? He said, I can hear your version, Shonda. Did you feel that? And I said, I said, yeah. He said, well, what did you feel? I oh. said, well, if we were a couple, it felt like it would have been a kissing moment. If, if yeah. we were a couple. Are you serious? Yeah. And he said, oh, don't worry. I'm so not going to kiss you. So I'm not going to kiss you. guys at the same, same time. So, so long yeah. story short, wow. I, you know, I, I, I leaned in and, um, you, know, I, you know, I gave a kiss, you know. Okay. And um, <laughs> after that, um, that was it. We couldn't shake it. That was it, damn. We yeah. couldn't shake well, it. Well, I guess it. not. We <laughs> leaned in and gave it. After 12 years. <laughs> yeah, 12 years. Really? Yeah. And my, my, my testimony is um, wow. my senior year of high school, I asked the Lord, Lord, help me mm -hmm. with me. Mm 
mm -hmm. you know, because um, I was promiscuous in high school, and I was like, God, you know, I, mm -hmm. I really want to live for you now, you know, and he really got a hold to me. And um, I, I thought, I, I remember praying a prayer. I said, Lord, okay, so uh, I'm, I'm 19 now, mm -hmm. and okay, so I'm going to have to hurry up and get married, because you, you know I can't hold out now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen years later. Fifteen years later. I mean, God kept God kept me for 15. He wanted to show you something. And I'll let I'll let you I'll, I'll let her tell you. Hey, hey, look. He's a, if you praise God about that one, wait till you hear her testimony. Wow, that's awesome. He's a, he's a keeper, right? Yeah, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. So 15 right? years. He's a keeper. He's a yeah. keeper. He's a keeper. People Listen, need to hear that. He's a yeah, keeper. He know that. He's a keeper. He 15 years celibate. I was a virgin when I got married. And I got married. I was almost 39 years old. Wow. So, Hallelujah! Yes. 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 So he is a keeper. Wow. He is a that keeper. is a keeper. Powerful. Yes. That's, a story That's right powerful. Yeah, and yeah. it's awesome when you wait. When you wait. It is yeah. awesome. Even 38 years. 30. Even 38 years. Isn't that a blessing? I, I hope I was worth waiting for. I, I, ah. She was worth waiting for. Hey, that's God. the way it is. That's, that's awesome. God that's awesome. Because God had you both plan. honored God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's the thing about marriage. For it to work, you have to put God first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be, mm -hmm. as as the flakes were talking about, being committed right. to, the, to the relationship. And that's real, that really means being committed to God. Right. Because when you're committed to God, then you're committed to your relationship. Yeah. You, know? I, you know, I think that's the problem. I think the, it's the word commitment. I think it's committed to something. I think yeah. people frown from or run from. Even though they may be in love, I think when they see that word, it's forever. You know, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and I just, yeah, you know, yeah. they get afraid all of a sudden, you know, get yeah. cold feet. Yeah. Yeah. We had this yeah. phrase, it was uh, POP, which stood for purpose over passion. Yeah. Mm. Because we believed that God had put us together to be ministry partners. Mm -hmm. So even after that moment that we had in the car, we were like, hey, something changed. You know, we still thought that really God wanted us only to be ministry partners. Mm -hmm. So from that point on, we still were praying and saying, Lord, take these feelings away. We had people praying yeah. against us. <laughs> you know, Lord, Wait, whatever you it is. people to pray against We this? did. <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 we thought, hey, maybe it was just one of the moments, you know. Wow. And, and after, uh, you know, several years <laughs> of yeah. just... You know, man, this ain't going nowhere. And uh, wait, 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 hold it. Hold <laughs> after several years, after well, well, that maybe, moment, maybe two, two and a half years. Oh, maybe. I yeah. thought that was it right there. Two and a half yeah. years, really? maybe two and a half so years. So y'all waited yeah. two. So, so who this, are you, people? And it was. Good. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I? Can I just say? Wow. It wasn't. And, and I love it. It was not easy. You know, you got. You know, you. You know, she traveled with me, no problem. Mm -hmm. But, you know, after we kiss, I had to bring people with me now. We took I, accountability, I, I, we took I, accountability I, partners everywhere we went. You have to. You really, really have to, you know, because good. people don't, they, they, that's the good. flesh is real. Oh, and yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not the enemy that's your biggest problem. No, no. It's you. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So, that's the I mean, I, I, I really learned the grace of God and, and the mercy of God, you know, just in, in that time. and. Awesome. Um, and I just want to tell, I want to look in the camera and say, it yeah. wasn't easy. Yeah. 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 But it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. But God's grace and his mercy, he, he kept us. And I'm so glad we waited. That's mm. great. That's, That's awesome. amazing. And it was during that three-year period that we were even praying for each other's spouses. Yeah. Because we honestly believed that we were only supposed to be ministry partners. Yeah. So we said, okay, Lord, you know, whatever happened, you know, yeah. forgive us. And we were moving forward just in ministry, me as his manager. And we were praying for each other's spouses and didn't know the whole time we were praying, praying for, for each, other. each other. So when did that hit you in the head? When did you realize that, okay, you know what, this is the will of God? Just a few months before we got married. I would say six months before we got married it's is when it really Something like that. Us. Yeah, because I'm, I'm the kind of person, when he speaks, mm -hmm. oh, that's it. That's it. Well, once I know for sure, yeah, yeah. oh, we're going to march out on it. You okay, know? good. But if I'm not sure, you know, it's you like, eh. Yeah, you wait until And then sure. God, um, he, uh, yeah. he, he spoke, and, and that was it. And, Amen. I mean, family was kind of shocked because they're like, Family was very huh? shocked, you know. Yeah, after all these years, <laughs> right. But yeah. now they see what God has done, you That's know, and bringing us together. Thing. And I, we, I've been so blessed to have her in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, just for what I'm, even who I am, mm -hmm. she's, she's a help. Mm -hmm. Every every woman's not a wife. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You better preach. This, 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 this is my thing, and it's not that they don't. Some women don't have a desire to be. Mm -hmm. Some women they don't want to. Well. 
and some men, they don't have a, 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 a us mentality. Uh, so let me just uh, say, uh, every man. Me, it's because yeah. yeah. I hear some women like, Rrr. every man. <laughs> Every man's not a husband. Right. That's good. That's good. Because That's yeah, you good. have to be, you know, willing to sacrifice, you know. And and she she teaches me to be honest with you how to love, how she loves me loves like you. every day. That's honestly. great. That is awesome. And and I'm sure working together for twelve years build an incredible friendship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where you kind of, even though, I mean, you waited. It's business, but still. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but to bring that into the marriage, yeah. that, that relationship after so long, yeah. had to strengthen the foundation. We didn't realize then all the conversations we were having during that 12 years of working together in foundation. ministry was really just preparing us foundation. for marriage. That's good. That's because good. half of the time I was working overseas, so we had to have telephone conversations. Mm, yeah. And so mm -hmm. that meant you had to give undivided attention to yeah. the person you mm -hmm. know we couldn't just watch TV and chat a little bit mm -hmm. you know we were on the phone and having direct dialogue and we went through all the different emotions hanging up on each other mm -hmm. listening to each other yeah we did and... that too, <laughs> we did that too. That's good. Uh -huh. but through all that time we really learned how to communicate with each other I learned his vision which I think is so important wow, okay. because yeah, now I know his heart, mm -hmm. and I know I can represent him without even having to ask him. And I know how to pray for him. And so all of those years, we never realized what we were going through, thinking it was just for ministry, that it was actually for marriage ministry. Isn't, isn't, isn't she beautiful, though? She is. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. We, call, we, we call her, we call her uh, a lot of people call her little CC. <laughs> Well, that's a compliment to me. Yeah, I think she's beautiful. You guys are so <laughs> sweet. I love your spirits. I love what God is doing mm -hmm. through you. Um, but you wrote you wrote this beautiful lady a song. I did. Tell um, us about that. Uh, well, it's called Let It Be Known. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually wrote her uh, one song that she walked down the aisle to. And um, the song I'm going to do tonight is called Let It Be Known. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's just saying, you know, uh, let there be no doubt. Because there might have been people that might not have been sure. Um, you know, are you sure this is the one? No Let it be known. Mm. Uh, she's it. There's no doubt. She's it for me. And, um, and I'm not looking anymore, so this is it. That's good. That's, That's good. good. That's good. When we were interviewing the Flakes, you know, they were mentioning about the three things that were important in a marriage. And one they mentioned was being friend with each other. Friendship is so important. And I know with Cece and I, that has been the thing that has kept us because even when times are not going so well when you like each other and you have that friendship yes. you can communicate it's so important yeah. so have you guys found out I mean by working together for 12 years obviously there was some communication you guys had together that was strong yeah. so did that carry over to your marriage at all or how did that play it absolutely yeah. yeah you know what's surprising to me is that we spend every waking moment mm -hmm. like together mm -hmm. and like you said we actually do still like each other that's, that's good mm -hmm. I mean that's yeah <laughs> Because people, I mean, people have their philosophies about marriage and, right. oh, you know, you got to have, you know, there's no way you could you work have together. your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can't work together. Space. Right. And that's just not our testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. And, you know, we're human beings, so of course right. you have your, right. you, know, you know, that's really getting on my nerves right now. <laughs> you know, of course you have that, you know. We're, you know, we're, real, course, we're, real, we're real people, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I was always taught, you know, never go to bed angry. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's all. Absolutely. Yeah. Never go to bed angry. Let so, the sun go down on your own. So, yeah. Shondell and I do this thing. We, uh, what, what, what do we, when, when, uh, when, when, we're, when, when something has happened, we'll say, uh, and what do we do in the LeVar household? Forgive quick. Forgive quick. <laughs> Forgive quick. <laughs> say that again. Say it loud. Forgive, Forgive quick. quick. Forgive quick. She, then yeah. she'll hit me with it, and sometimes I'm like, you don't want to hear it. it. <laughs> you might not want to hear it right now. Might there. not want to hear it. The same thing I'll do it for her. But if you let it stuff, it if you let stuff stay, mm -hmm. that's good. I mean, that thing will ruin. It'll, it'll, it'll cause you guys to really, you know, fall apart. But well, what you don't want to happen is you don't want a root of bitterness to start growing. You yeah. know, you want to sever that thing right when it hits. You know, and I think yeah. that's what happened. With couples, they go to bed, they wake up with the anger, with yeah. the hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, and that yeah. thing starts taking root in them. Yeah. And next thing you know, it it becomes a stronghold yeah. in their life. You yeah. know. Yeah. So for any couples out there, you know, like, like you said, don't go to bed angry. Yeah. Get it resolved. Get it resolved right then and there. Mm -hmm. and don't carry it over. Yes. And you've got to be willing to talk it out mm -hmm. with 
transparency mm -hmm. and vulnerability. Mm. And I think that's the key thing. You know, sometimes you might have to yell it out. Sometimes you may yeah. have to cry it out. But I think it's just so important that you get it out and that there's an understanding that in those moments it's a safe zone mm -hmm. and it's a safety zone for you to be able to express and to listen Good. to each other mm -hmm. because that's the thing. Once we listen and we talk, then we eventually hear each other mm, that's and good. then that's when we get to a resolve that's good yeah. like she's that. always right she's always right ah, <laughs> <he's learned. laughs> this is gonna work <laughs> in only 13 months he learned and we also found out we also found out tonight that sometimes a letter works too ah. right, right. I, was listening. I was listening so will you sing that song for I will. us now i will absolutely yeah. awesome absolutely. let's welcome one more time Kevin